Welcome, this is episode two of Trading in Captura. It's the evening before I set off. Uh, I'm just choosing which shoes I'll carry with me. Uh, I'll talk you through my uh, selection, uh, explain why I picked each shoe. So to begin with, uh, Daily Runner, um, this is the Puma Velocity Nitro 2. I've really enjoyed this shoe, it's so versatile. Um, uh, I've had it a few months and really like it. Um, of course, for my workouts, it will have to be a Vaporfly. Um, this is uh, my favorite speed shoe. I just really find it, um, find the Alphafly uncomfortable compared to it. Recovery, um, I'll go with the Nova Blast one. Uh, again, this is a shoe I've only just tried recently uh, and it's really comfortable. I've enjoyed the run. And then I've added in a trail shoe um, for the wet days to try and keep some traction. Um, this is a Terra Kiger or Kaiga, I'm not quite sure how it's pronounced. Um, seven, seventh edition. And then I've also taken a track shoe as well. I managed to get these on discount at a Nike clearance store. Um, not quite sure what this is a zoom D I'm not sure what edition model um, but I'll try use this on a uh, track of workouts that I do I've just got up and got ready I'm saying goodbye to our new puppy Quaba. So it's just after 6 o'clock and we're setting off. Uh, it's best to travel early to avoid the traffic in and around uh, Kampala. I'm traveling today with Dominic. Uh, it's best, uh, there's not yet any uh, commercial flight, um, flights to uh, the Kaptura area. Um, therefore, uh, you need to travel by road. Um, it's best uh, to get a, uh, a car and driver to do the trip. Uh, Kaptura is uh, around 300 kilometers from Kampala. Uh, there's a lot of speed humps through the towns on route which adds to the um, travel time. Uh, which is uh, typically around uh, between around five to six hours. The currency that we use in Uganda is the Ugandan shilling. The current exchange rate is 3,800 to a dollar. As with most other places, the fuel prices have recently gone up drastically. I'll be able to touch on further details about pricing later on in this series. I traveled into the country around two weeks ago. Our main uh, international airport is Entebbe. It's about uh, 50 kilometers from Kampala. Uh, the peak travel uh, months, uh, as with everywhere, the summer months between May and August and uh, around Christmas time, December to January. Um, therefore, traveling outside of these uh, months is uh, a lot cheaper. Uganda is located on the equator and has tropical weather. There's lots of rain and it's a green country with lots of agriculture. Just past eight o'clock and we've arrived in Jinja, uh, which is home to the source of the River Nile. Uh, we're just about to cross uh, the bridge, which goes over the River Nile. The Nile is the longest river in the world. It is contested where the source is, with some arguing it's in Rwanda or Burundi. However, we still believe it's in Uganda. There are many activities in Jinja, like boat tours to the source where the Nile leaves Lake Victoria, or even quad biking like I did with my friends in 2019.
he stopped for a coffee break at Java House. Uh, this is a Kenyan coffee franchise. There is a full selection of coffees as you can see. Uganda is also famous for growing coffee. We grow both Arabica and Robusta. Arabica is grown around the Captura area and I'll come to this later on in the series. Just approaching Imbale town, uh, which is the largest town near Kapchora. Um, you can see uh, the start of Mount Elgin behind the town. Mount Elgin is the second highest peak in Uganda after Mount Renzori. Its peak is at 4,300 meters, and for those who use imperial measurements, that's around 14,000 feet. Now you must be wondering about all the motorcycles. Uh, we call these border borders in Uganda. I don't think there's a square mile without one in this country. We're just starting a climb up to Kapchora. Um, we are now on the slopes. Uganda is on a plateau with most of the country at at least a thousand meters. Uh, we are ascending to Kapchora which uh, starts at 1800 meters. Just turning into Kapchora, we've reached. Uh, it's about 11:30, so it's been uh, about a five and a half hour journey. Uh, welcome. I'm doing my first run in the evening. Just keeping it very slow, getting acclimatized. I had a great surprise as I finished my run. I bumped into Jacob Kiplimo. Uh, he's just won the five and 10,000 meters at the Commonwealth Games and he holds the world record for the half marathon. In the next episode, I plan to go over the different accommodation options. Uh, I hope you're liking the content so far. Uh, please subscribe to the channel.